Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm a bit hot now. Let's get some fresh air. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. 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 It's a bit windy today. Yeah. Oh, wind and a straw. That gives me an idea. You'll need all your huff and your puff to try these great blow pictures. Let's make it. You'll need a straw and some other things from the doodle drawers. Some paper. A plastic cup and brush. And some paint. Now, to make a great blow picture, like these ones here, mix some water into your paint. Now, this will make it runny. Now, get your paint and put a blob in the middle of the paper. Now, with your straw, blow spikes out all the way round. Great! And the best thing about blow painting is that you can turn your shape into anything. Now, I'm going to turn this shape into a monster. Let's give him some eyes. Hmm. Fantastic! Now, let's try another one with a different coloured paint. Draw a face with no hair. Carefully, with your paintbrush, drip some painty mixture on top of his head. Now, get your straw and blow upwards to make a funny hairdo. He's got spikier hair than I have. Now, let's do another one. Let's do a hedgehog, but this time in a different colour, watery, painty mixture. Now, dollop the paint to the back of the hedgehog's head. Get your straw and blow some more. Keep adding paint until you're happy with your picture. Huh? 
My hedgehog spikes look really prickly. It's a good thing he's not real. Oi, Mr. Maker, you're the worst hairdresser I've ever had. Hey, Spike! Come back! <laughs> Who's that snoring? These are the shapes. Ah, oh, they're asleep. I've got an idea. Let's wake them up. Oh, they're heavy sleepers. Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 take it away. Oh, hey, oh, yeah. What's hiding in the circles? Can you guess what it is? It's a chicken and a chick! Well done, Circle! Time to get back on the shelf! <laughs> <laughs> Those shapes are great! Stuck in here! <laughs> minute make time! Minute make time! It's minute make time! <laughs> right, today we're going to be making a bug in a jar. Now a bug in a jar is a bug with googly eyes in his very own home. Now to make a bug in a jar you'll need a small plastic jar with a lid, like that, some scissors, a pen and some modelling clay. Whoa, whoa. Okay and of course some white card, not forgetting the white card. Now do you think it's possible to make a bug in a jar in just a minute? No way! Really? Let's find out. Now I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Deep breath! <gasps> right, get your fun clay and start rolling a ball. Rolling, that's it, rolling! There we go. Make it into any shape you like. I'm going to make it into this shape. There, there's his body. Now get some white card and start drawing the eyes. There's one eye and there's the second eye. There we go. Right, now very carefully with your scissors cut those eye shapes out. There we go. Be careful! I'm going to be very careful, Toki. Don't worry. You don't need to go as quick as this because scissors are sharp, remember? That's it, round we go. And when your eyes are cut out, stick them in to your bug, like that. Whoa! And then stick him in your jar! I've done it! Only just. Just in time, phew! And if you've got more than a minute, you could even give your bug some wool hair. Looking good. Or you could try a different shape bug. Just let your imagination run wild. You can try using different coloured clay. 
and any number of eyes you like. It's your very own pet bug in a jar, made in a minute. Just. Now here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Mould the modelling clay into the shape that you want your bug to be. Draw eyes onto your piece of card. Carefully cut out the eyes and stick them into the bug. And then put the bug in the jar and you're finished! Why don't you try making it in a minute? Hello, Mr Maker! Guess what we're making today? I don't know! Let's find out! everyone see you next time but now it's time to frame it frame it frame it now have a look at this this is a wool doodle it's really easy to do but looks so good you'll be able to frame it to make your wool doodle you'll need a long piece of wool some white sticky PVA glue and some paint. Dip the wool into a bowl of glue like this and place it onto a piece of cardboard. Now have fun making a doodly pattern. When it's dry, it looks like this. Then color in the spaces in and around your wool shapes. You could use paint, or felt tip pens or even paste on some glue and add glitter give it a shake and then after you've cleaned up it looks perfect you can try different types of wool doodle like this one you can do any shape or colour you want. What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is... Frame it! Brilliant! I love making pictures out of all sorts of things. So... Let's make a picture out of... Buttons! Whoa! It's a bus! All aboard! Ah, <sighs> wouldn't it be great to be a king? I, the king, by royal command, order everyone in the world to start making brilliant things! Thank you! Oh, thank you! Ah, if only! I tell you what though, it's given me an idea! Do you want to be a king or queen? Well, now's your chance to make your very own crown! 
Let's make it! We'll need some things from the Doodle Drawer! <laughs> A long piece of card. <laughs> Some sticky stuff. <laughs> Some tin foil. <laughs> Some cotton wool. <laughs> And some sticky jewels or coloured paper. Whoa! Now, to make your crown, like this one here, first check your long piece of card is long enough to go all the way around your head with a little bit extra to spare. Eh, that seems about right. Perfect. Now, draw triangle shapes all the way along the top of your card. Now, these will be the points of the crown. Then take some scissors and cut it out. But be careful because scissors are sharp. If you find this hard, ask an adult to help you. Now cover the crown shape in glue. And now cover it with a piece of tin foil. Yeah. Bend the foil around the shape of the crown like this. Now, don't worry if there are bits of card showing because you can always fill those in with other bits of foil. In fact, you could make your whole crown this way. <laughs> now turn it over. There! Doesn't it look great? Let's put glue all along the base of our crown. And stick cotton wool along the edge. Now we're ready to stick on some jewels or some cut out paper shapes. Hmm, very colourful, but I think for now let's just stick to jewels. Now for the next job. You might need an adult to help you with this bit. To get a perfect fit, wrap your crown around your head like this, then hold it in position carefully. There, get some sticky tape and stick it together. There. Great! Now you're ready to rule! I am the king of all names! By royal command, I order you to start making things. <laughs> oh, time to go! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time is over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas. Thank you, Mr Maker.